Dear UN colleagues, representatives of the national and local governments, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great pleasure to welcome you on behalf of UNIC at this one UN event at the UN of C COP27 on climate action and new urban agenda, sustainable development goals, localization and sustainable urban policy for resilience. I would like to thank our colleagues at ECLAC for leading and organizing this one UN event, which is taking place in person in Sharm el Sheikh. And I'm sorry that, that I could not be there with you. Cities are responsible for a significant part of the green house gas emissions, both directly as generators of such emissions and indirectly as end users of fossil fuel-based energies and other goods and services, the production of which generates emissions elsewhere. Cities should therefore be considered as strategic vehicles for climate change mitigation. But it is also clear that urban communities are themselves vulnerable to the effects of climate change. Urban areas concentrating people and infrastructure often in hazard prone locations experience some of the largest impacts from both gradual climate changes and abrupt natural occurrences that are often climate induced. And it is often the poorer and the more disadvantaged people who suffer the most. Cities should also therefore embrace socially oriented policies for climate change adaptation. Mitigation and adaptation are two sides of an urban strategy for climate neutrality. In addressing climate change consequences uh, through climate adaptation and mitigation, city governments need to address multiple disasters simultaneously. They need to have capacities to deal with complex economic, social, and environmental challenges, and at the same time to protect the most vulnerable population and promote local economic and social development, keeping cities' economies booming and growing. To support cities in addressing the climate change effects and natural and man-made disasters and consequences of the COVID-19 pandemic, the five UN regional economic commissions, the UN Habitat and the UN Capital Development Fund started at the very beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, a project on building urban economic resilience. The project supported efforts of city governments in 16 cities globally to analyze the impact of the pandemic on, on the economies of urban areas, as well as analyze the impact that disaster risks, including climate-induced disaster risks, have on cities. The project further has helped cities in developing their economic recovery and resilience plans, including identifying possible funding sources for economic development and very importantly, for sustainable infrastructure projects. The project produced a variety of knowledge and capacity building resources, which are being used in the 16 project pilot cities across the world. The project also demonstrated specificities of each region, but generally speaking, we found that many technical tools and approaches can be shared across continents. Uh, and they have been shared in the 16 cities involved. Our global cooperation platform is strong and practical. We learned a lot together, and I would like to share a few thoughts on what we have learned and what could be the topics for working in the future, including topics that are relevant to the discussions at the COP27. First, there is a, a critical need for a cross-sectoral, whole-of-government approach. And this is especially true when city governments start realizing they need a whole-of-government approach to tackling climate change. Second, governments at the both national and city level have to work hand-in-hand -hand with the private sector. Business engagement, including boosting startup ecosystems, for innovation that helps cities overcome very complex challenges is critical, is missing, and we can support it through practical means. Finally, cities need 
specific capacity boost to attract financing. And I'd like to use the opportunity of the side event to note that it is especially important to get cities eligible and able to, to access climate finance as they build their resilience on the adaptation side, and as they work hand in hand with major industry players and national governments on the mitigation efforts. Let me conclude by saying that I believe that this event that through its rich discussion will allow us to further learn from each other. And from the UNSC point of view, we're looking forward to working together to support cities to become climate neutral, resilient, smart, and sustainable. Thank you.